drafting Stuck in a song You can't turn off Like a merry-go-round My head is spinning I see you rapping about I'm sure it's hell Twilight check-in and um, Ben's just gone to get Zach's um, jogger um, like a push chair um, to bring down to put the label on that too um, so that we don't have to do that in the morning and I think after that we're heading to check-in at the Sandman Hotel so we will see you there Right, we're all checked into the Sandman. We're going to spend the night here. Um, we're going to sit up, play some Mario Party on the Switch. Um, up early in the morning, heading over to the airport. Well, we're all excited now, so um, I'm going to make a move because it's freezing. <laughs> it's raining. Um, let's hope for some warm weather when we land tomorrow. See you soon. Hello, our top story. Thousands of travellers remain stranded at one of the UK's busiest airports due to flight disruption caused by drones seen flying over the runway. London's Gatwick Airport, Britain's second busiest, remains closed after drones were spotted nearby yesterday. More than 600 flights have been cancelled at an airport that serves 110,000 travellers a day. So it's the next day, we're at Gatwick. Um, we're still waiting to see what the state of play is at the moment. Um, it was on the news, there was some drones flying over the runway last night. So hopefully that's not gonna hold us up too much. Uh, Virgin told us to still come in as normal, so fingers crossed, uh, we're not gonna head through security. And um, we'll see you on the other side and let you know. Three hours later. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Are we stuck at the airport? So yeah. yeah, so we're still here. Soon. Can we go soon? soon. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully I get it sorted. Right, I know I said I'd see you on the other side of security. Um, little update, <laughs> that's not happened yet. Uh, that was three hours ago. Uh, our flight was, uh, was meant to be taken off in 15 minutes, so that's not going to happen because, as you can see, we're still outside the airport. Um, we don't know if we're going to go today, we don't know if it's going to be a 24 hour delay and they send us tomorrow. It's all just a waiting game at the moment. Um, you'll probably remember it on the news, somebody's been flying drones over the runway all morning, so fingers crossed they get it sorted soon enough and um, we can get on our way. But Staying positive, uh, keeping Zach busy, that's the main thing. Uh, he's starting to get a little agitated, but going for a ride on the trains, go between the terminals, um, 
see what else we can do to keep him busy. If not, we'll um, have to book a hotel room and go and crash there for a couple of hours and go from there. Hopefully not too long. Uh, keep you updated and see you soon. See Mickey today. Because Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. And the castle? The castle. Looking forward to seeing him today? Uh, what a travel day. 27 <laughs> hours. Um, start to finish. Definitely an eventful <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite early, but me and Zach are up. The others are still catching up on their sleep. Um, what a travel day. Uh, 27 hours in total. So, uh, definitely an eventful one. First thing is massive thank you to Virgin staff at Gatwick, Heathrow, uh, on the flight as well. It's, it'd be too easy to sit here and moan and say this was wrong, that was wrong. Under the circumstances, <laughs> what customer service was amazing. Got a text message from Virgin saying that our flight had been diverted to Heathrow and if we could to make our own way there, um, if not there was transportation so we went over to their desk. Oh, and, and that's when we kicked in. Um, oh, Karina oh, no, uh, from Persian. Military, on the ball, just what you need in a situation like oh, that. She's oh, like, right, that you do this, that you do that. She oh, made me leave my bag with Shelly, took me straight down to the staff security, straight through to pick up our bags, come back oh, out. Um, then they took us to the front of the airport where coaches were laid on. Oh. They could see that we was already getting close to the mark whether we'd make it or not so they tried to arrange a taxi but that was going to take too long so they stuck us on the first coach that pulled up after the our flight once had gone. Um, we got off at Heathrow straight through and into a fast line um, obviously because we had the lanyards for um, special assistance. Got through there, they were brilliant, um, the seats weren't allocated that we wanted but on a day like that, you're not going to moan, you're just going to get on the plane and that's all we were grateful for at that point. Um, finished there, got through security really quick, literally didn't have a chance to stop. It was through security, straight to the gate, straight on the plane. It was on the tarmac for about an hour, finally hit the runway, got off. Um, and they did say that the staff had worked so many hours today we was going to have to have a break in the air. I said, you cannot fault the staff. Um, they, they were brilliant, uh, start to finish, in making sure everybody was accounted for, everybody was happy. <clears throat> uh, and still to get us here on the day, because we've been looking on Twitter and some people still haven't even made their flights. So we're very grateful. To, we're happy, we're here. A few hours late, but we're here. Uh, then the fun, <laughs> we landed, got off the plane, Customs was brilliant, straight through. Um, got the younger one something to eat, because uh, it's been a long day. Um, and we got in the queue for Alamo to get our car hire. Got to the front desk, told them, you know, this is our name, got a reservation here. They said, no, you have it. So we started panicking, thinking, oh no, um, what do we do from here? 
Shelly had the idea of checking with Dollar in case it was with them. So we queued up again and lo and behold, after a couple of minutes of looking, the guy just smiled and you could see the relief on our faces as well. They had our car, our reservation. So we went and got that. Then we headed to, we went and got a car from the garage. Jumped in that, headed up to Walmart. Landing got a few bits last night. Got home. Uh, Unpacked the car, Shelly was doing the cases, did the shopping. I think it was about four o'clock of American time that we went to bed. Um, like I said, now we're back up. Uh, today's our first day. We was planning to do Magic Kingdom about mid morning. We're going to leave that now. Everyone's going to get some rest. Mm. Um, and then when they're ready, we head down later on this afternoon, straight the evening. Um, we've got Mickey's special party, which will already be out. Um, we're just starting to join ourselves now. Uh, the holiday Big begins. <laughs> Back and um, we'll so yeah, the holiday starts now. Kind of ignorant. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for your baby.